as a reporter who's trying to cover, you know, the protests and just what's going on on the ground. And now you've also got people who are armed and trying to protect buildings and will potentially go to the lengths of killing people for that. What is that like? So there are the groups that put out that information, uh, specifically Tuesday night, that said they were going to come up or come out, some of them are locals, and defend businesses and property and the citizens of the city of Kenosha. Now, where all the people came from, I can't tell you. We, knew, we do know that there was the unfortunate incident on Tuesday night where two people were killed, one person was injured in a shooting that at this point authorities have, have told us is linked to one of those vigilante groups. But I can tell you this, yesterday, uh, so Wednesday night, the day after that shooting, I did not see one of those vigilante groups out on the streets. I don't know if it's because they just pulled out because of what happened, or if they thought it was gonna be quieter, which indeed it was. Um, so there's a lot of different factions down there, and it's easy for somebody to go on the internet or on Facebook or whatever and say, it's this group or it's that group, but really we don't know. There's so many different people down there. It's, it's really hard to tell.